Two trees I'm often asked for ways to tell them apart are the black walnut and the black locust, which are all those saplings there in the background. Two trees very common in Eastern North America and are sure to be encountered by anyone who is interested in exploring nature or doing habitat work, even in more urban areas. Black locust, Robinia pseudoacacia, is a tree that is native to the central part of Eastern North America but has been widely planted as a landscape plant and for reclaiming degraded sites such as old mines. It is a pioneer species that can spread from root suckers and can often be found dominating disturbed sites and is considered invasive in some areas outside of its native range, especially in the prairie states. Black locust is an important tree for pollinators of all types, including hummingbirds, and is a host plant for many species, including the super cool caterpillars of the silver spotted skipper. Black walnut, Juglans nigra, is also a native North American tree that is economically important for the nuts and lumber it produces. It is a host plant for several species of Lepidoptera, including the wickedly awesome caterpillars of the regal moth, and squirrels eat the abundant nuts. Black walnut is a pioneer species and can often be found growing in disturbed or open areas with black locust, which I think adds to the confusion for some when identifying the two species. While the two trees look somewhat similar, especially when young, there are simple ways to tell them apart. Let's start off with the easiest time of year to identify them, the spring and summer when the trees have leaves, may be blooming, or will be setting seed. We'll start by looking at the leaves. Both species have pinnately compound leaves, meaning they look like a feather with a central stem called a rachis and several leaflets. The main differences between the leaves are the leaflets of black walnut are finely toothed and are pointed in shape and the leaflets of black locust are oval with smooth edges. Another difference is that black walnut often lacks a terminal leaflet or it is greatly reduced in size, and black locust has a terminal leaflet that is the same size as the other leaflets. If you love identifying trees, let us know by identifying that like button. There is a huge difference in the flowers of these two trees. Black walnut blooms are tiny, green and white flowers that appear in short spikes and catkins, and are quite inconspicuous against the leaves. Black locust blooms, in contrast, are highly showy, drooping clusters of large white to purple pea-like flowers that are highly fragrant. Fun fact, black locust blooms are an important honey flow in many areas, and the honey produced from them is delicious. Both trees will start to produce seed in midsummer, and this is another easy way to tell them apart. Black walnut will produce the round, green, golf ball to tennis ball size nuts they are known for. These can be seen in clusters of two to three nuts along the branches and often be found lying on the ground beneath the tree where they will turn from green to black. Black locust produces two to four inch long bean-like pods that will turn from green to brown as they mature. These pods may persist on the tree through the winter. Some of you may be thinking, hey, these trees get tall. How am I supposed to see what the leaves look like or if they are just starting to produce tiny nuts or seed pods way up there? This is where a good pair of binoculars comes in handy. I consider binoculars a standard piece, must-have piece of field equipment. They aren't just for looking at birds and butterflies. They can help you ID trees too. The leaves are often out of reach and binoculars will allow you to get a good view of them. This goes for twigs also, which we will talk about in just a minute for black locust and black walnut. Just be sure to get a decent pair. Life is too short to be looking through lousy optics. I really like these Vortex Diamondback HDs, and for the money, they are hard to beat. I will put a link down in the description so you can check them out. Since these trees are both deciduous, they will be leafless half of the year, so leafless identification is important to know. The bark of these trees can look similar, and I think it's where most of the confusion stems from. So let's take a look at it first before moving on to twigs. Young black walnut will have brown to dark brown bark that will have small vertical fissures and ridges forming on it, giving it a rough appearance. Young black locust bark can look like young black walnut bark, but it is usually smoother and lighter in color. It may also have stout, short thorns along the trunk and saplings and sprouts. As black walnut matures, the bark darkens and the ridges become larger, rougher, and more pronounced. Black locust also gets more pronounced ridges as it ages, but they are fewer in number and coarser than those on black walnut and can appear to twist around the tree. The bark is also much lighter in color. The twigs are a dead giveaway for identifying these trees in the winter. The twigs of black walnut are smooth along their length. The twigs of black locust will have paired stout thorns at the leaf scars. This is one of those times a good pair of binoculars will come in handy if the twigs are out of reach. Black walnut is often confused with another tree, the invasive tree of heaven. 
to learn how to tell those two apart, check out this video and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.